भद्रम कर्णे भी शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्ये मक्षवीर्यजत्र स्थिरंग स्तुष्टवांसस्तनु भी व्यशेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्तिन इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्तिन पूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्तिन स्ताक्षो वरिष्ठ नेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं शांति 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 वी आर स्टडिंग अथर्ववेदीय प्रश्नोपनिषद एंड इन दी फर्स्ट प्रश्न वी आर सीन दैट दी सिक्स तपस्वी श्रद्धावान ब्रह्मचारी कूड नॉट सॉल्व सम ऑफ देर प्रॉब्लम्स दे वेर डिवोटेड टू सगुण ब्रह्म थिंकिंग इट टू वी दी अल्टीमेट बट ड्यू टू इनर इवोल्यूशन दे अंडरस्टूड दैट देर इज समथिंग बियॉन्ड दिस and to learn of that something beyond by mutual discussion they could not find the way and they thought this people other will solve all our problems and they came to people other and when they wanted to ask questions people other told them i know you are tapasvi shraddhavan brahmacharis but with the same tapasya shraddha and brahmacharya you stay with me for one year and then you ask your questions and if i know i will give answers to all your questions this if i know is not ignorance it is modesty because i will answer all your questions also he said so they did accordingly they stayed with him for one year observed him served him and thus a channel was opened between the giver and receiver and then one of them kavandi katyayana he approached him and asked what he asked we read in the third mantra last time bhagavan kuto hava ima praja praja yanta iti all this progeny we see from where from where from whom this is born now what he wants there that shankaracharya told us he wants the relation between the created beings and their master and thus they want to know the nature he wants to know the nature of the reality which is approachable by only work and also that which is approachable by work with knowledge of that reality or meditation on that reality that is what shankar has pointed out he is not just asking a process of the praja but he wants to know the relation or how does a man go to that place which is the result of work and meditation combined so that relationship he wants to know and so the guru does not objectively answer the question he illumines the mind of the questioner so now today we read his answer in mantra 4 tasmai sah uvacha praja kamo vai praja pati hi satapo atapyata satapas tatva 
समिथुन उत्पादयते रैम च प्राणम च बहुधा प्रजा करिष्यते इति सो यू रिप्लाई टू हिम बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम हिम सो यू रिप्लाई टू हिम प्रजापति हु इज प्रजापति द क्रिएटर प्रिजर्वर एंड डिस्ट्रॉयर गॉड इज द प्रजापति एंड ही हैड अ डिजायर वॉट डिजायर गॉड कैन हैव डिजायर यस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन गॉड एंड मैन इज नॉट हैविंग और नॉट हैविंग ए डिजायर बट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नेचर ऑफ डिजायर एंड इट्स फुलफिलमेंट मैन हैज सो मेनी डिजायर इन द इंडिविजुअल माइंड एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम दे आर ओवर इन द माइंड इट सेल्फ वी डू नॉट सी द रिजल्ट आउटसाइड and even if there is a result outside he has to struggle for that he has to take so many karakas so many instruments for that desire to come out as objects that is man's desire and god's desire as soon as it desires it happens never it is obstructed neither there is an obstruction nor does god require anything other than himself to create the world to fulfill that desire so the difference between personal god and jeevas is that jeevas desires may or may not be fulfilled and even if it is fulfilled it requires lot of effort lot of other factors and then only it can be objectively fulfilled god's desire on the other hand there is nothing to obstruct him and he does not require the help of any other thing also like the potter wants to create a pot he requires clay he requires the wheel he requires to move it he requires to give shape to them like that when god wants something he just wills and it happens and does not require anything from outside so this is prajapati and that is the personal god because he seems to be doing something he is a person not in the sense that he has a shape body like you and me but he may or may not have this gross form but he is a person all the same because he has the desire because he does something so he is a person and we find that this six people became hang- hungry for the ultimate reality then how this question so first they had to be more and more clear about the reality in which they live they had to be more and more clear about the reality which they are devoted to and then only there will be a meaning in asking for the beyond so that is the construction of this prashna upanishad that though it has been stated that they are devoted to apara brahma or saguna brahma and they have become hungry for nirguna brahma but may not be very clear idea in them and so first three questions and answers will be relating to the relation between god and man and then fourth fifth and sixth mantras will be taking us to the ultimate reality so the first question is about our relation with the personal god how 
one single reality because it is important eh? one single reality how he becomes all this world so he desires let me be many that is description in other other upanishads <laughs> here he says he wants progeny meaning is same he wants progeny praja kamo vai prajapati hi tasmai sah uvacha to him he replied praja kamo vai prajapati hi so prajapati the master of creation the meaning of the word prajapati is the master of created beings or master of creation this master of the created beings this master of creation he has had a desire praja kamo vai definitely he had a desire he wanted progeny why you cannot ask a question why to the cause of everything so that is his nature his work is srishti siddhi prale so he desires that means from him will comes out and then the will works out itself in this world so he had his desire then what he did he did not gather clay or wheel what he did sat tapo tapeta literal meaning will be he did penance still literal meaning will be he heated himself by something hot tapa atapeta but that is only the literal meaning the intended meaning is that he did not have to take recourse to anything he just shifted the mode of his consciousness gyanam eva tapa for god the tapasya is only a shift in the nature of his consciousness he is one now he will become many so his consciousness does shift a little that is the apara brahma so his consciousness shifts a little that is tapasya but it is described as tapasya because something similar to what we do then only we will understand it when we have to create anything not only that we go about collecting material but we have to labor hard to create anything even for the father to create a son even for a man to create some object even for a man to create house to live in he has to struggle so in that language it is said that god also struggled just thought about it just a thought arose a will arose and then that is called sat tapo tapeta sat tapas tapwa having noticed tapasya one thing is that the world is not newly created any time it is an eternal cycle and so he had created previously also now he has destroyed so he thinks about how it was created last time like that he will create again that is tapasya his tapasya is bringing to mind how it was created last time and that when he brings to his mind that is called tapasya because from memory 
he has to dig it out. So that is called tapasya. And what he all did after that? So mithunam utpadayate. Mithunam couple. Husband and wife. Here, the principle of husband and wife. That means he himself. There was nothing else from which he will create. So himself divided himself into a subject and an object. That is the knowledge to be given. That is what he is seeking also. How the progeny comes out from whence? God is one. But he apparently divides himself into a subject and an object. And then the combination of subject and object is called progeny. So the principle of a couple, principle of a subject and an object, that is what he created. He himself became divided into a man and a woman. Here it is described as the subject and the object. Muthunam utpadayate. Rayam cha pranam cha. Ray means, literally, ray means food. That means through science, physical science, if you try to understand, ray means matter. And prana, prana is the eater of the food, prana is the subject, or in the language of science, prana is the energy which acts upon the object matter. So you can look upon it like this, he created matter and energy. And then matter and energy will go on combining and recombining and I will get all the progeny. So that is the couple or the principle of couple he made or himself became apparently matter and energy. Food and its eater, object and subject. So that is what he did. Raimcha prajamcha mithunam utpadayate. Object and subject. Food and its eater. Iti. Iti means that is what he did. And wh why he did so? Etau me bauda praja karishate iti. The thought within him was that they will give me whatever progeny I want. Bauda. Many. Not that he has produced a couple, they will produce one couple. They will give me all the praja which I want. So this subject-object principle is this world. And once you have a subject and an object, it will go on combining, recombining. From that something will be born. They will combine and recombine. From that something will be born. They will combine and recombine. And you will get all the progeny. So the relation between the jiva and the creator God is that everything in this world is born out of that very creator when he divides himself in a subject and an object. That is the sum and substance of the answer given to him. And so it will say also that if you do karma, <laughs> You will go to Pitrulok, which is like a object because there is no knowledge there. And if you combine work with meditation, you will get to Devalok or Brahmalok, where you will be the subject. That is the thing.
So now, let us see what Shankaracharya tells about this first fourth shloka, fourth mantra. Tasma evam prushtavate, to him who has put this question, important, eh? to him who has put this question, he is giving the reply. Saha uvacha tad apakaranaya aha. Uvacha means spoke. Here spoke means to solve that question he said. Tad apakaranaya. That means that question will not remain in his mind. For that sake he replied. Praja kama praja atmana sisrukshurvai. Desiring a praja means creating or sisrukshu, spreading or creating progeny for himself. That is prajakam. For himself, he wants to create progeny because there is no one else. He is not doing for somebody else. For himself, he wants progeny prajapati who is Prajapati? Sarvatma. Son. He himself is the reality of all. So, Prajapati means he is the reality of all. He is a personal God. Because all is there. He is the reality of all. Sarvatma, son. Jagat Srikshami. Iti evam vijyanavan. So it is not only praja, the whole world. The whole world I shall create. Iti evam vijyanavan. So like this was his knowledge, his consciousness. Vijyana is his actual experiential consciousness. So, Prajapati has this. So, Prajapati said, I want Praja. That means for himself. And he himself wants the world to be created. And he knows about that world, how to create. Iti evam vijyanavan. He knows how to create the world. Because the world is him. Yathokta Kari understood two things. He knows how to create and he has the capacity to create. He knows how to create and he has the capacity, the power to create. Because he is reality one without a second. So Prajapati, the creator God, now, how beautifully he has been personalized. <clears throat> he knows how to create and he can create. If you know how to create but have no power, how can you create? And without the knowledge, how can you create? So, Shankar says, Vigyanavan, Yathokta Kari, Tad Bhava Bhavita. So, Bhava, Bhavita, these words occur often in Vedanta and we are finding them here in Shankar Vashya also. Don't translate about thought and all that. Bhavana is a feeling. And he was filled up with this feeling. That Bhava, Bhavita. His mind became colored with this feeling. His heart or mind became, he has a mind, he has everything because he is Prajakama, he is Prajapati, personalized God. So he knows, this is all the description of the Apara Brahma, personal God. He knows and he has the power and he, that is the tapasya, huh? he became filled up with that feeling, that bhava bhavita. 
So knowledge, capacity, and feeling, everything here. Kalpa dau. When this happened, at the time of creation of a cycle, Kalpa means imagination. Kalpana. The whole world is God's Kalpana. But it goes in a cyclic form. He creates, preserves, destroys, swallows. For some time, equal time, it remains static, unexpressed. Then again he cre creates. So at that juncture, Kalpa Dau. All this is happening because he has no progeny. Now he wants progeny. So at this point, at the point of creation, Kalpa Dau. Nivrutta Hiranyagarbha. So personal God, at the beginning of a cycle, he has become Hiranyagarbha. That means he has a mind. He has the cos person with the cosmic mind. At the, when the creation is not there, there is no need of a mind. And God is there with the unexpressed, unnonmanifested world. Now he wants to create. So he himself becomes Hiranyagarbha. Kalpado Nivrutto Hiranyagarbha. Nivrutta means he himself became. He came out as Hiranyagarbha. Sruja mananam prajanam savara jangamanam pati hi san. So he is explaining the word prajapati. That is Ishwara. But at the point of creation he becomes Hiranyagarbha. What is Hiranyagarbha? Surujya mana nam praja nam praja, the progeny which is about to get created. Surujya mana nam praja nam. Sthavara jangamanam. This praja is not only men, but moving and unmoving objects. Sthavara jangamanam pati. He is the master, lord, creator of Sthavara Jangamanam Praja. Sun. Sun means being like that. Janmantara Bhavitam Gyanam Shruti Prakashita Artha Vishayam Tapo Anva Lochayat Atapyata So he had a previous life. This Hiranyagarbha, another Hiranyagarbha was there, or he had become Hiranyagarbha before also, and he had all the knowledge. He had thought, rather he had felt all the knowledge in the previous birth also. Janmantar Bhavitam Gyanam. The knowledge which he had felt in the previous birth also. Shruti Prakashita Artha Vishayam. And where will we will get that knowledge? In the Vedas. In the Vedas, the meaning is revealed. The meaning of that knowledge is revealed in the Vedas. So, all this knowledge is eternally present even in the previous birth in the Vedas. That is called Tapa. Hmm? Anva Lochayat. That means, now you may talk of thinking. 
he thought over anu alochayat he saw actually again second time janmantar bhavitam gyanam alochayat anu alochayat so you may say literally that he had stored this knowledge in the vedas and he saw those vedas again not that vedas in a written form but the knowledge is vedas and that he brought to his mind and valochet that is called tapata atapata that is the penance he exerted brought that knowledge which he had in his previous life again into his mind atattu sa evam tapastavva tu ha means in not any other way in this way ath now ha sa evam tapastavva having pronounced like this shrautam gyanam anvalochya again he has repeated that in the vedas the knowledge is there that bringing to his mind Srishti Sadhana Bhutam, he has to create a means for creation. First, he will have to create the instrument of creation. Srishti Sadhana Bhutam Mithunam. So, the principle of a couple is the instrument for creation. So mithunam means the instrument of creation, which is always in the form of a subject and an object and husband and a wife. So he created that. Mithunam dvandam, mithunam utpadayate. That means mithunam is dvandam kapal. Dvandam means kapal. उत्पादितवान क्रिएटेड रईमच सोमम मून एंड सन मून वी नो इज अ रिफ्लेक्टेड लाइट सन एज द ओरिजिनल लाइट सो दे आर द बेस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ ए सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट अनदर सेंस चंद्र लोक इज द पितृलोक and surya loka is the deva loka or brahma loka so this rain means food means soma moon annam that is food rain cha somam annam pranam cha agnim attaram prana means the energy like fire which consumes food so fire consumes matter so that is called the eater he created he created food which is moon and the eater which is fire eto agnishomo this fire and moon what is this word atru annabhuto atre annabhuto hmm. that to and tro huh? atri anna that means the eater and food the agni and soma for narration he has reverted it he created soma and fire this fire is the eater soma is the food so this fire and food will me mama bahuda anekadha bahuda means many many praja karishyate iti they will create my progeny 
एनी नंबर इति एवं संचिंत ही थॉट लाइक दिस नाउ वी नो फ्रॉम अदर वेदर दैट दिस ग्रॉस क्रिएशन कम्स आफ्टर द सटल क्रिएशन सो दि सटल क्रिएशन इज कॉल अंडोत्पत्ति क्रमेण दर्डर ऑफ क्रिएशन इज दैट फर्स्ट एंड एग इज क्रिएटेड दैट मीन्स नॉट फुल्ली मैनिफेस्टेड वर्ल्ड इज क्रिएटेड सटल वर्ल्ड इज क्रिएटेड एंड फ्रॉम देर द ग्रॉस वर्ल्ड कम्स आउट so he created rai and prana after having created the subtle world andotpatti kramena surya chandramaso akalpayat now here agni has become sun because agni is the eater of food sun is the subject origination of light so and surya loka is the brahma loka where people go by doing work and knowledge or meditation so and what he did akalpayat he idealized it he made an idea of moon and sun that is the world that is the couple so this words different words represent only one thing that he created the principle of a couple subject and object like the moon and the sun the reflected light and the original light the food and the eater now he describes further aditya ho vai prano aditya ho vai prano रैरव चंद्रमा रैर्वा एतत सर्वम यूर्त अमूर्त तस्मा मूर्तिरव रई नो स्टेलिंग दैट दे टू आर नॉट डिफरंट आदित्य इज द प्राण दैट ईटर ऑफ फूड Ray, ray, wa chandrama, and moon is the food. Ray, wa etat sarvam. Now he says this moon is all this. That means even the eater is that very moon. Understood? So the prajapati has created sun and moon, but the created world is moon only. Etat sarvam. What sarvam? Murtam cha, a murtam cha. The grass or world with forms, a murta. Subtle are the forms which we do not see. That is the world, grass and subtle. And then he says these mantras are, as I told you, the short notes. तस्मा मूर्तिरव रई सो द ग्रॉस ऑब्जेक्ट ओनली इज रई दई वॉज बोथ मूर्त एंड अमूर्त सो द ग्रॉस ऑब्जेक्ट ओनली इज द फूड दटल इज द ईटर सो दैट मून इट सेल्फ इज बोथ फूड एंड द ईटर सो प्रजापति क्रिएट दिस हेज टू बी conceptualized in the mind we cannot go by the gross words so he created prana and ray sun and moon and this ray food matter is all both the gross and subtle and then gross only is the food So certainly, is the eater. Hmm? So in some way, the subject and the object, the power and matter. Hmm? 
तत्र आदित्य हो वही प्राणो अक्ता अग्नि सो आदित्य इज दी प्राण बिकॉज ही हेड क्रिएटेड रई एंड प्राण एंड दैट प्राण इट सेल्फ हू हेड टोल वॉज अग्नि दावर ऑफ बर्निंग रई रे व चंद्रमा रई एव अन्नम सोम एव सो रई चंद्रमा बिकॉज रई इज द फूड एंड विच इज दी चंद्रमा रिफ्लेक्टेड लाइट तद एतद एकम अत्ता च अन्नम च सो वन इज द ईटर वन इज दी फूड प्रजापति एकम तो मिथुनम प्रजापति हिमसेल्फ इज वन कपल प्रजापति एकम तो मिथुन सो मीनिंग इज दैट प्रजापति अलोन और वन हैज बिकम टू सो द मीनिंग ऑफ यू क्रिएटेड दिस दिस एंड दिस इज दैट प्रजापति बिकेम divided into two prajapatir ekam to mithunam guna pradhan kruto bheda in terms of physical sciences the difference between man and woman is some hormones so guna pradhan kruto hi bheda one is the superior one is the inferior Huh? One only has become two, one dominating, one sub-object. Raiva annam ba etat sarvam. Katham, how do I do? I say that one is all, because Rai is this anna. Kimta yad murtam cha sulam cha amurtam cha sushmam cha murta murte. अत्र अन्न रूपे रई रेव दि सटलर एंड दि ग्रॉसर दि ईटर एंड दि फूड इज रई इट से गुण प्रधान कृत वे टोल रई एंड प्राण दट रई इट से तस्मा प्रविभक्ता अमूर्त यदर्त रूप मूर्ति सा रवि अमूर्त नद्रॉस और विथ फॉर्म इज दि रई देज ईटन बाय दि सटल दि अमूर्त बिकॉज फूड इज ईटन बाय दि सटल सो ही सेज रई रेव मूर्तम First he says Rai is both murta and amurta, and then he says of that the murta only is Rai because the settler is the eater. Okay. Conceptualize. Huh? Now he will say that the subject is all. Object is all. We are told. Now he will tell the subject is all. So after all, it is only one prajapati who has created the couple. Actually, this is the connecting link. Huh? Tatha amur topi prano atta sarva mevo yaccha adham. Tatha similarly, ah. Huh? अमूर्त और दि सेटलर इज दि प्राण ईटर एंड ही दैट ईटर इट सेल्फ इज यम इज द फूड टू बी ईटन फूड इज ऑल ईटर एंड ईटन सिमिलरली द ईटर इज ऑल ईटर एंड ईटन सो इट इज गुण प्रधान कृत भेद Shall we give a gross example? 
No, woman, when she eats food, she is the eater. But in a man-woman relationship, woman is always the object and man the subject. Understood? So, eater and eaten both. And that man can be eaten by tiger. Okay? So, man becomes food. So, the meaning is that there is no fixity in this world which is subject and which is object, but a couple is there which creates the world. So now he talks of Aditya. Atha Aditya Udayan Yat Prachim Disham Pravishati Atha Aditya Udayan Yat Prachim Disham Pravishati Tena Prachyan Pranan Rashmishu Sannidhatte Tena Prachyan Pranan Rashmishu Sannidhatte So the sun arises in the east. And there are pranas in the east. And he sustains those pranas by his rays. That means matter, prana is of course the energies. So there are energies in the east. And sun's rays, rays are not different from the sun. But when the sun rises in the east, Sun's rays sustain those pranas. Yet Dakshinam, uh, that means sun goes to the south. How does it go to the south? In the Dakshinam in the six months. Yet Pratichim, that means it goes to the west. Yad Udichim, it goes to the north. Yad Adho, that which it goes below. Yad Urdham, it goes to above. Yad Antara Disho, all directions in between. Yad Sarvam Prakashayati, that which sun illumines everything. So everywhere there are pranas and sun sustains them by his rays. This is sun, the subject. Okay. So conceptualize this, not think of this gross east, west, south and north. But when the sun rises, fills all directions, above, below, and everything, and then all the pranas there, now what are the pranas? Pranis. Understood? People having prana are called pranas. So the created beings, hmm? created beings are sustained by the rays of the sun, by the light of Prajapati. So the Atta himself is all. Atta Aditya Udayan Udgachan Praninam Chakshur Gocharam Agachan. So what is the sunrise? whether sun moves or earth moves, but it is a fact that we see him. So sunrise means people, it falls in the range of people's eyes. That is the exact description of sunrise. Yat prachim disham so prakashena pravishati vyapnoti so by its own light he enters means he pervades. Tena Swatma Vyaptya 
सर्वान सत्सान प्राणार प्राचान आनंद प्राचान अंतर्भूतान रश्मिशु स्वात्मा व भास रूपेशु व्याप्तिमत्सु व्याप्त प्राणिना सन्निधत्ते सो प्राणिना तस्थान प्राणान प्राचान इन द ईस्ट अंतर्भूतान दैट मीन्स विच आर इन्क्लूडेड इन द ईस्ट रश्मिशो स्वात्मा व भास रूपेश रेज ऑफ दी सन मीन्स दी आभास एपियरन्स ऑफ सन इट सेल्फ सन एंड इट्स लाइट और इट्स आभास व्याप्ति मत सो एंड देर दी परवेज यू थी दे परवेड शिट व्याप्त प्राणीना सन्निधत्ते व्याप्त प्राणीना सन्निधत्ते By pervading everything, he sustains. Sannivesayati. Atma Bhutan Karuti Tyarta. He sustains means he includes all of them in himself. That means he makes them his own. He makes them himself. Tathaiva yad pravishati dakshinam यद प्रतिचिम यद उदीचिम अथ ऊर्धम यद प्रविशति यंतरा दिशा कोण दिशा अवंतर दिशो यव प्रकाशयती तेन स्वप्रकाश व्याप्त्या सर्वान सर्व दीक्षस्थान प्राणान रश्मिषु सन्निधत्ते इन ऑल डायरेक्शन बाय परवेजिंग परवेडिंग ही सस्टेन्स वॉट एवर इज देर स एष वैश्वानरो विश्व प्राणो अग्निदय तदेतुक्त सो दि सन इज ऑलसो कॉल्ड वैश्वानर नॉट इज वॉट इज वैश्वानर टू मीनिंग्स वैश्वानर इज दि समि फिजिकल बीइंग एंड वैश्वानर इज दि अग्नि सो दट सन इज ऑल परवेडिंग इज वैश्वानर विश्वरूप विश्वरूप मीन All the world is his form only. Prajapati, huh? Prajapati is Vishwanara. Prajapati is Vishwarupa. Prajapati is Prana. Prajapati is Agni. Udayate manifest. Tade tad rujabi uktam. So that is told by one ancient mantra also. This is Brahman portion, so perhaps in the Sangita portion, some mantra is there. So all this is the principle of creation: he is couple, he himself is couple, he himself is subject, he himself is object, object is all or subject is all. So Eshu Atta Prano Vishwanara, this eater. प्राण इज वैश्वनर सर्वात्मा वैश्वनर मीन्स दि सेल्फ ऑफ ऑल विश्वरूप विश्वात्मत्वाच विश्वरूप मीन्स हिज दे सेल्फ ऑफ ऑल विश्व हिज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑल विश्व प्राणो अग्निश्च सैव आत्ता उदयते उद्गछति हिज दि सब्जेक्ट दि हिज द इटर हि राइजेस प्रत्यम सर्व दिशा आत्मसात कुर्वत सो परवेड्स एवरीथिंग सॉलोज एवरीथिंग मेक्स एवरीथिंग हिमसेल्फ परिजोन तद एक उत्तम वस्तु दिस थिंग इज हेज बीन टोल्ड बाय रुचा मीन्स मंत्रेण अभी 
abhyuktam. Richa does not mean Rigveda here. Richa means mantra. Because this is Brahman portion. Vishwarupam harinam jata vedasam. Vishwarupam harinam jata vedasam. Parayanam jyoti rekam tapantam. Parayanam jyoti rekam tapantam. Sahasra Rashmi Shatadha Vartamana Prana Prajanam Udayati Esha Suryaha So this Surya is Vishwarupa means has various forms. All forms are his form. Harinam uh, harinam does not mean dear. Huh? That is, Harinam means one who has rays. Hmm. Harinam is one who has rays. Jatavedasam. He knows everything. Parayanam, he is the supporter, uh, last uh, gati of everybody. Jyoti, he is the consciousness. Ekam, he alone is there. Tapantam, he is hitting everybody or whatever. Sahasra Rashmi, Sahasra stands for infinity. He has infinite rays. Shatada Vartamana. Shatada means he is present in hundreds of forms, men. Shatada Sasrada are only numbers. Infinite is the meaning. Shatada Vartamana Prana Prajanam is the life. Prana also means the life force. So it's the life of all prajas. Udayati Esha Surya. And he comes out as the sun. That is what the mantras have told us. Vishwarupam, Sarvarupam. Eh? All are his forms. Harinam, Rashmivantam. Harinam means with rays. Jatavedasam, Jatapragyanam. By birth itself, he knows everything. Parayanam sarva pranashrayam. Jyoti rekam sarva praninam chakshur bhutam advitiyam. One consciousness means the seer everywhere. Everybody in everybody's eye he has become. He is one without a second, has become eyes of all. Tapantam tapakriyam kurvanam. So the tapakriya. Heating. You see, by solar heat we live. Na? So it produces not only light, but heat. Sun is heating us, and so we live. Hmm? Swatmanam. Suryam, Surayo, Vigyata Vanto, Brahma Vida. The meaning of Surya by the norms of brahman he is known that is surya surya means surayo vigyata vanto brahma vida hmm? he is known by the brahma vetta he is known as hiranyagarbha koso yam gyata vanta who is he who is known by them sasra rashmi 
ಅನೇಕ ರಶ್ಮಿ ಶತದ ಅನೇಕದ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಭೇದೇನ ವರ್ತಮಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಜಾನ ಉದಯತಿ ಏಷ ಸ್ವರೂಪ್ಯ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಜಾನ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಉದಯತಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಿಗರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಚುಲೈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಒನ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಅಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ to the rishi that is the meaning of mantra that this knowledge is possessed by the brahma vetta and they are telling us that it is like this he is the one he heats us he lights us he is all okay so this is one narration of prajapati prajapati surya prajapati chandra Chandra is all, Surya is all. And the mantra has told us how Surya is all. So this is one form of Prajapati's couple. Then he will tell so many other forms like that. Om Badram Karni Abhi Shrunuyama Deva Badram Pashyam Akshya Bheer Yajatra ಸ್ಥಿರೈ ರಂಗೈ ಸ್ತುಷ್ಟುವಂಸನೂಪಿ ವ್ಯಶೇಮ ದೇವಹಿತ ಯದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಸ್ತಾಕ್ಷೋ ವರಿಷ್ಠ ನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತ